CIS Control Number 4 discusses the importance of controlled use of administrative privileges. Administrative accounts have enhanced functionality that can bypass security measures and lead to misuse, whether intentional or not. The misuse of administrative privileges is a primary method for attackers to gain access to an entire network. Two very common attacker techniques take advantage of uncontrolled administrative privileges. In the first, an employee with administrative rights is fooled into opening a malicious email attachment, downloading and opening a file from a malicious website, or simply visiting a website hosting attacker content that can automatically exploit browsers. The file or exploit contains executable code that runs on the victim's machine either automatically or by tricking the user into executing the attacker's content. If the victim user's account has administrative rights, the attacker can take over the victim's machine completely and install keystroke loggers, sniffers, and remote control software to find administrative passwords and other sensitive data. Similar attacks occur with email. An administrator inadvertently opens an email that contains an infected attachment, and this is used to obtain a pivot point within the network that is used to attack other systems. The second common technique used by attackers is guessing or cracking an administrative user's password in order to gain access to a target machine. If administrative privileges are loosely and widely distributed or identical to passwords used on less critical systems, the attacker has a much easier time gaining full control of systems because there are many more accounts that can act as avenues for the attacker to compromise administrative rights. It is pretty obvious that you should only allow a limited number of accounts to have administrative access on your network. But how can we securely manage the administrative accounts that we do have? Ensure that all users with administrative account access use a dedicated or secondary account for elevated activities. This account should only be used for administrative activities and not internet browsing, email, or similar activities. Configure systems to issue a log entry and alert when an account is added to or removed from any group that has been assigned administrative privileges. Finally, review and audit the use of administrative privileged functions and continuously monitor for suspicious behavior on a regular basis. Contact OCD Tech today with any questions and to find out more about the Center for Internet Security Top 20 Critical Security Controls.